rustlings, a bit of harmless fun, or has it been ruining the Rust learning curve for almost a decade? The first commit was roughly around 2015. Around the same time, a myriad of Reddit posts and YouTube videos were made proclaiming Rust to be a hard language to learn. Coincidence? Yes. We interviewed an anonymous source about their experience with Rust. Hi, my, uh, my name is uh, Kevin and uh, I'm a Rust developer. Um, I, I, thought, I, I, I thought it was just like JavaScript but with extra steps. Um, before I knew it, I was spending my weekends waiting for the compiler to finish or you know, trying to shave bytes of my Hello World example. Um, it's currently only spanning two hard drives. And it's really tough, you know, to, uh, to talk about this. My, uh, my journey into Rust has cost me everything. Um, I haven't seen the sun since 2014. With all that said and done, let's take a look at a random Rustlings exercise and see if we can solve it and prove once and for all whether Rustlings is a suitable tool for learning or not. The task is outlined in the comment of the code and reads, add the missing keyword. This exercise is certainly doable, but I'm unsure how approachable this is for a beginner, and this is just the second exercise if we ignore the intro. A Rustling exercise is solved once the code compiles, so let's hop to it. The first thing we have to do here is clone the source code for the compiler. Then we run the setup script. This will generate configs and set up our environment. Because we're going to change the compiler, we have to choose B here. And because we're streamers, we have to choose 2 here. Finally, we can build the compiler. This will take a while if your computer is from the past. While this is happening, you can brew a cup of tea or write an angry message on Reddit that no one cares about. We'll start by adding an additional symbol. Then we have to make use of the new symbol in the parser. In this case, we'll have it behave the same as the let keyword because I'm a lazy sausage. Now that we made the required changes to the compiler itself, we can try to build it. Turns out we're not quite there yet. There is already a macro named missing in libc. And since this is now a keyword, we have to update libc to use a raw identifier for the macro. At last, we can produce our final build of the compiler. Now we can finally solve our Rustlings exercise. Wow! What a journey! I don't know how anyone thinks this is a suitable tool for learning anything, it is way too difficult! Anyway, thank you all for watching, make sure you don't miss the next episode of Learning Stuff. See you then! Okay, we'll do it for Jeff.